Howdy, and welcome back to the Texas Bucket List. You know, one of my favorite seasonal delicacies in our diverse state is crawfish. The other, oysters. But when it comes to the warmer months in our great state, mud bugs is where it's at. So we scoured for a unique place to pull some tails. And that's when we found pinchers. While El Campo is not extremely close to Cajun country, you'll find a colorful cafe here, dedicated to the cuisine that includes crustaceans. Ready? Welcome to Texas. Oh baby, that's one heck of a hot tub. Mud bugs, mountain lobsters, crayfish or crawfish, whatever you like to call these crazy looking crawdads, one thing's for sure, they are delicious. Oh yeah. Sorry to say buddy, this is the end of the line, man. <laughs> you a big crawfish eater? Only out here. A damn good place to come eat. Do you still eat crawfish? Every day. Craig Rattley and his wife Debbie opened up this escapade in El Campo back when people liked to party in 1999. So why'd you decide to get in the restaurant business in 99? You know, I was a struggling farmer, looking for a way to make a living, and I tried several different things, got into real estate, and found a crawfish farm, and uh, after a few years, then we decided to open a restaurant just to market crawfish. Now, we've all heard the term putting the cart before the horse, but buying the farm before the business worked out well for Craig and his family. Now, this entrepreneur might just have the only farm-to-table crawfish restaurant in the country. I never envisioned myself being in the restaurant business. We were just trying to make a living. He controls the quality of the crawfish from the very beginning, not only from what he's harvesting, but how he's cooking. My dad made a bet with me when he opened. He was angry because I was venturing out away from the farm and doing something risky. And uh, so he bet me two to one odds that I'd be broke in six months. Well, he didn't ask me any questions. So we rented the building for six months and we're supplying our own product. So I wasn't going broke in the first six months. You know? <laughs> so he paid up the day before with a check and a memo column that said for a good, bad bet. <laughs> so what's it like working with your dad? It is fun working with them. I was promised a couple more golf days, but uh, we'll get around to that as soon as crawfish season's over. Craig's son, Coy, is usually holding down the fort at the family restaurant. Don't see him much. He's always, I mean, if you want to find him, you got to go to the farm. You got to go hop on a crawfish boat. But he makes it out to the farm, too. How proud of him are you for starting this business? Man, a million percent proud. He's, he's Nobody this age works as hard as, as this man does. What kind of farmer were you prior to all this? Rice farmer, predominantly. I tried milo, corn, cotton. Wasn't very good at any of it, so. <laughs> Fortunately, Craig's taken to crawfish farming like a mud bug in the mud. And once he's tidied up the traps, he brings the batch back to the restaurant to be purged. All right, Craig, so this is where you guys purge them? Yes, sir. Every day we get through catching them on a boat, we don't put them in bags on the boat, we drop them in boxes. Yep. And then we bring them here and drop them in the water overnight and pull them out the next morning. Boy, they're active in there. They are. Some beautiful crawfish, you got some big ones in there. Yeah, that's one advantage to wait until April to start trapping. They've been able to grow all season. They're ready for the boiling pot. It's a free-for-all there. Everybody's grabbing everybody. Yeah, they know this isn't gonna end well. Once cleaned, it's on to the pot. Then they're seasoned and soaked before being savored. That's a big one. I love springtime in Texas. You get much fresher. Of course, that begs the question, what do you do with the heads? Well, you come and suck the head at Pinchers. Oh yeah, it's got a little spice to it. Just tail guy. I'm not that hungry. I dated a Cajun girl one time. And she used to stick her finger down in there and get it all out. Oh, wow. <laughs> no matter how you eat them, they truly are a Texan treat. Little lobsters raised in the Lone Star State. I remember worrying when we first opened up, there was a pipeline coming through and a lot of Cajuns coming through, and they would tell me right off the bat when they walked through the door, we're Cajun, we're going to tell you right away whether we like it or not. <laughs> it made me nervous as hell, but I haven't had a complaint from them yet. To be a part of our tradition. People know where we are just because of this restaurant. So it's pretty cool. The crawfish are awesome. Best in Texas. Mm -hmm. 